Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reset Android phone to its factory setting. A factory reset is a built-in feature from most providers that uses software to automatically erase the information stored on the internal memory of the device. It's called a factory reset because the process returns the device to the form it was originally when it left the factory. This resets all the device settings as well as the applications and stored memory, and is typically done to fix major errors and operating system issues. The purpose of a factory reset comes into play here as well, as it's not just about data management. In other systems, when a device begins to have issues, many troubleshooting steps need to be taken, and how to manage that data during this process is often highly contentious and difficult to properly manage. On a device with a factory reset, it's as simple as a quick backup and erase, completely easy. Now let's start resetting our Android phone. In this video I am using Samsung Android 7.0 version. To begin resetting Android phone, first tap the settings icon from your home screen or app drawer. Swipe up to scroll down to the bottom of the page. Tap the About Phone tab. Then hit Reset tab found below. Then select Factory Data Reset. Here in the Factory Data Reset tab, it shows important information affected on this reset process, like accounts, apps, and folders. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page. Then hit the blue Reset button. If the device pin is turned on, it will ask you to enter your pin, just supply correct pin and tap next to continue. In my case, the device pin is turned off so it direct me to delete all tab. Now, just hit it to continue. Now the phone will reboot and we have to go through initial setup process. Now, reset is done and we're on the way to device setup. This process is same as newly bought Android phone. Just after the phone reboot, it will search for internet connection. This process guide you for internet connection. Select your preferred network, then enter password, then hit connect to continue. Here in the terms and conditions, select agree to all then hit next. Now the device will check for software updates. If it found new one, it will automatically download it and installed in the device. Before installing the updates, you have to sign into your Google account. Now press next to install updates. Next is time setup. You can leave this to your provider time setting or default setting by hitting next. Next is security setup. Like many other aspects of setup, the way you protect your phone will vary considerably depending on what kind of handset you have. The phone I'm using use a fingerprint scanner, while others uses facial recognition technology. You can go with the default choice or set up a more traditional option, like a PIN or password. Whatever you do, I recommend that you set up some kind of security measure. You can always program your phone to bypass these protocols on trusted networks, but if your phone falls into the wrong hands, a simple screen swipe is not going to stop anyone from mining your data. After the security setup, it will ask you for additional service setup. You can skip it as what I'm doing and come back anytime you want. Now the setup is done, and the device is ready, and you can install your required apps as well. This covers how to reset Android phones. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel for more great tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.